Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. Now let's start drawing. In this video, we learn to draw screwjack assembly drawing. For more videos on assembly drawing, subscribe to my channel learn and draw. Screwjack is an mechanical device which is used to lift heavy objects over a small height. So most commonly it is used in the automobiles. The different parts of the screwjack are body, nut, screw spindle, special washer, screw and cup. Now let's draw the Screwjack assembly drawing. Question. The details of screwjack are shown in the figure. Assemble the parts and show the following views to 1 is to 1 scale. Show the important dimensions on the assembly drawing. First one front view in section, second one top view, third one side view. The details of the drawing are the screw jack has 7 parts. First one this is body and part number 2 that is nut, part number 3 screw spindle, part number 4 cup, part number 5 that is washer special part number 6 that is CSK screw and last one part number 7 that is the Tommy bar. The screw jack assembly drawing is very big drawing. So it covers the complete sheet. So while drawing the screw jack assembly drawing there are chances that the front view will go out of our drawing sheet. So to avoid this first let's draw a circle of 140 mm at the bottom in the top view and then from that we will start drawing the front view. Now let's draw the front view. In the front view let's first draw the part number 1 that is body. So in the body let's start with the base. The length of the base is given as 140 mm. So from the axis line let's mark 70 mm and 70 mm and there is a cutout at the bottom. So this cutout has this uh, diameter of 100 mm. So from the axis line let's mark 50 mm and 50 mm and at height of 3 mm let's draw this cutout. So next is to draw this height of 20 mm. So from this point let's mark 20 mm and 20 mm on either side. Then to draw this line the total diameter it is given as 100 mm. So from the center let's mark 50 mm and 50 mm and draw this line up to this point. Now let's draw the top part of the body. So to draw this from the bottom let's mark a distance of 185 mm at this point and from this point let's draw mark these points. So we have the outer circle of 70 mm and inner circle of 50 mm. So 
from this point let's mark 35 mm and 25 mm so repeat this on the left side and then draw the length of 40 mm at the outer side circle on both the sides of the figure The last part in the body is to draw this middle part. So to do this, first let's mark this diameter of 66 mm at this point. So total length here it is at 70 mm. So to mark 66 here, so we have to mark 70 minus 66 that is 4 mm. So we have to mark 2 mm and 2 mm on the both the sides. So after marking 2 mm here, so join this line up to the bottom line so after joining this line from the 66 diameter to this line so we have to tighten this drafter at this line so we have to tighten the drafter at this line and at a distance of 10 mm so draw a line which meets to the bottom of the body so repeat the same step on the left side of the body. Now let's draw a radius of 8 mm on both the sides. This completes part number 1 body. Part number 2 that is nut. So in the nut half of the nut will go inside the body and half of the nut will be above the body. So this much part of the nut will be inside the body that is total length here it is 45 mm 45 minus 20 that is 25 mm so 25 mm of our nut will be inside the body so from this point let's mark a length of 25 mm on the axis line and then draw two points at the edge of the body that is of 50 mm and then mark two more points at a distance of 19 mm since the internal length is given as 38 mm. So let's mark 19 mm and 19 mm and then draw this line of 45 mm. So after drawing this line of 45 mm, so let's join these lines. So repeat the same step on the left side.
now let's draw these edges so the total length here it is given as 90 mm so from the center so let's mark 45 mm on and 45 mm and then mark a height of 10 mm and join up to these lines and also we have to note that the arc we have to draw of radius 5 this completes part number 2 nut part number 3 that is screw spindle so these are the dimensions of the screw spindle so the total length of the screw spindle is 2 240 mm this much part of the screw spindle will go inside the body that is of the thread so first let's draw this thread so the length of the thread will be 240 minus 83 that is 157 mm so 3 mm will be above the body so the total length that we have to draw inside the body is 154 mm so from this point so let's mark 154 mm at the bottom and then join the line and join the lines up to 38 mm diameter that is 19 and 19 mm on both the sides and then join these lines so to draw the thread the uh, dimension of the thread is 7 mm so that is 3.5 and 3.5 mm on the both the sides of the thread so let's draw this now let's draw the upper part of the uh, spindle so total height here it is given as 83 mm and the width it is given to as 65 mm so to draw this part first from this point let's extend this thread up to 3 mm so after drawing this length of 3 mm let's draw one rectangle so the width of the rectangle will be equal to 65 mm okay so that is 32.5 and 32.5 from the axis line and the height so how much will be the height is 83 minus this 13 so that is equal to 70 mm so width is 65 and height is 70 mm so let's draw this rectangle now let's draw these chamfer so to do this so from this point let's mark a height of 10 mm and draw one line so from this point at the end so mark 45 degree angle and join these lines so repeat the same on the left side also and repeat the whole step on the top that is 
from the top mark 10 mm and draw a line and from this point mark 45 degree and join these lines. Last one is to draw this part so it has the height of 13 mm and the width of 22 mm so mark 11 mm and 11 mm on both sides and height of 13 mm. This completes part number 3 screw spindle. Part number 4 that is cup. So these are the dimensions of the cup in the front view. So we have got the base which should be drawn above the screw spindle. So the base is here it is given as 45 mm. So from the axis line let us mark 22.5 and 22.5 mm. So then the height is 12 mm. So from the axis line, let us mark 12 mm and draw one line. Now let us draw this upper part. So the height is given as 42 mm from, from the axis line let us mark a point at 42 mm and the circle has the radius of 65 mm. So from this point 65 divided by 2 will get 32.5. So let us mark 32.5 and 32.5 on both the sides of the axis line. And from this point, let us mark the bottom part that we have pre previously marked from right and left side of our figure. And at this point, let us tighten our mini drafter and measure a distance of 6 mm and mark a point, draw the line and join up to this upper point. So repeat the same thing on the left side.
now let's draw this curve of radius 5 mm and join this line now this completes part number 4 that is cup part number 5 washer special so these are the dimensions of the washer so to draw this so the base is 35 mm so we have to draw this above the screw spindle so the length here it is given as 35 mm and height is 8 mm so let's draw a rectangle of 35 mm and 8 mm So now let's draw this inner part. So to draw this, so the bottom diameter it is given as 14.5 from the center. So let's mark 7 mm and 7 mm on both the sides. And on the upper part, so there is dimension of 25 mm. So let's mark 12.5 and 12.5 at the top. And then there is an angle of 90 degrees so from this point take 45 degree angle and draw a line so repeat the same on this sides and from the bottom that we have marked earlier so let's draw a straight line so all the points we, where they meet so we have to draw one another line here so let's draw this This completes washer. Part number 6 CSK screw. So these are the dimensions of the CSK screw. So the length of the screw is given as 30 mm and this upper part is 6 mm. So 30 minus 6 is 24. So thread length will be equal to 24 mm and it is a M12 thread. And at this point there is an angle again of 90 degrees that we have drawn already in the CSK screw and one more thing that we have to do is the groove here so the groove height is equal to 3 mm and this groove length so which is given in the top view so this will be equal to 2 mm so we have to mark 1 mm and 1 mm on, on the axis line and the height of 3 mm so we have to draw this groove so let us draw this. The last part in the front view is the tommy bar. So let us draw this. So these are the dimensions of the uh, tommy bar. 
so this much part will go inside the screw spindle so the length here it is given as 62 mm and where this point will lie is it lies from 35 mm above the uh, bottom of the screw spindle so from this point so we have to mark the length of 62 mm and the diameter is 12 mm so that is we have to mark 6 mm and 6 mm on both the sides of the axis Now let us draw this part of the Tommy bar. So here the total length of the Tommy bar is given as 275 mm and this part we, if we minus this so we will get 213 mm. But since it is given as a long shaft so we can take any imaginary length less than 275 mm and then draw this line like this and also for 100 mm we have to draw the knurling. So the diameter of the Tommy bar is 20 mm so we have to mark 10 mm and 10 mm on both the sides and draw this line. Now this completes the part number 7 Tommy bar. So the last part that is left in the front view is to hatch the half sectional views. After hatching this completes the screw jack in the front view. Now let us draw the top view. So to draw the top view let us take the projection lines from the front view. top view. So the screw jack in the top view is seen as a circular object. So here we have to draw the circles taking the different parts. So now first let us draw the circle taking the part number 5 and 6. So here we have to draw a circle of diameter is equal to 24 mm and a circle of diameter is equal to 35 mm. So let us draw this. So now let us draw the circles from part number 4. So this is the part number 4 and here we have to draw the circles of 38 mm and 65 mm. 38 mm diameter and 65 mm diameter. Now after part number 4, now let us draw the circles from the part number 3. So this is part number 3. So the circles that we have to draw here are of this one, so the, which is 65 mm. So we have to draw dotted line circle of 65 mm diameter and the thread. So the thread length is 38 mm. So we have to draw a dotted line of 38 mm diameter. Now let us draw the circles for the part number 2 that is nut. So this is the part number 2 that is nut. So we have to draw the circles of diameter equal to 50 mm and diameter is equal to 90 mm. 
so 90 mm diameter should be in the straight line and 50 mm diameter should be in the dotted line because it is not seen now we will draw the circles for the last part that is part number one so here in the part number one the circles that we have to draw is a dotted circle of 100 mm diameter and a straight line circle of 140 mm diameter now after drawing all the circles we have to draw the tommy bar because tommy bar can also be seen from the top view so let's draw the tommy bar here same as what we have drawn in the front view now after drawing the tommy bar as we have drawn in the front view this completes the top view of the screw jack assembly drawing so now let's draw the side view after drawing the top view now let's draw the side view the side view is similar to that of the front view so let's draw the projection lines from the front view and draw the side view same as what we have drawn in the front view the only difference is that the internal lines are shown in the dotted lines and other all the uh, drawing is similar so let's draw the side view now this completes the side view of the screw jack assembly drawing so here you can see the outer lines are drawn in the dark lines and the inner lines are drawn in the dotted lines and the tommy bar when seen in the side view looks like a circle so we have to draw a circle here of diameter equal to 20 mm and one more small circle of dotted line of diameter equal to 12 mm now this completes the screw jack assembly drawing thank you for watching for more videos on assembly drawing subscribe to my channel learn and draw